Okay, I'm going to do the headliner. I'm looking for these sets of bows. I got a semi-rusty set, a fairly clean set, and then I have this four-piece super rusty. Those are probably going to go in the trash. Probably use this set, keep this as the backup. Now, what I also found with this is some trim, and that looks like that goes around that back window, back in the back nook. So I'm going to take that with me, but... That's going to present some problems. I guess that looks like that's more for a, a four-door car. But I'm not going to go digging for all that stuff right now. I'm just going to take this back. I have a bag full of this kind of stuff that came from some other cars. So we'll see what we need. I definitely sort out these bows. Maybe go ahead and glue up what I can glue up and find this stuff after the fact. Because I'd want to paint this black flat black or something just so it's not green so we'll see what we can do we're just going to take this and go for now the thing i just spotted weird here which is the same color as the original two-door car is this weird molding so i don't know where this goes but it definitely looks like it's the shape of that back window like an interior cover piece but i only see one screw hole and no way to attach it so for the fun of it i'm just going to take this with me and try later try to figure out what those are all right i'm in here removing all the accessories we had the uh rear view mirror had all these seat belt clips had this little coat hanger thing and we'll have to undo that the good news is I've already got in here and I painted all of this stuff before just to put some paint on it, buffed it all. I gotta remove these. They look like they just snap off somehow. Got one screw there and the rest of it just pops off. And then we'll figure out how to put the bows on there. And then we'll glue it, put all this trim back on so that'll hold everything on nice. And we'll have a headliner back in this thing. What I don't really understand, oh, I see a second screw. I'd taken out the screw and took out the other screw, but it still wasn't unclipped. So something was kind of holding this thing on. Looks like it's got some trim, but it also looks like this piece needs to come off first, which has got a screw right there. Well, this trim here, it went there. That trim has some funky clips. They're all kind of falling out, but they clip in there. That's what holds those bad boys in there. So those were missing the clips. So one, two, three, four. One of them flew out somewhere. So I have to find all them clips, make sure they go back in. And then I can see that this is put up here with some other little clips. Uh, that one had fallen off when I pulled it out. There's one. So I guess this headliner must be where this clip was at. Right in there. So that helps hold the headliner and these pinch clips. So maybe I don't need to glue this. It's just going to be pinch clipped back on. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one that didn't fall out. Bunch of pinch clips. So no glue. Pinch clips. Interesting. So we're going to use the pinch clips. That will be handy dandy not having to put glue on all that stuff. Kind of looks like they just let that overhang and go all the way up in there. So this could be pinch clipped in there. Pinch clip. Pinch clip. Broke that piece. Sadly enough. Maybe I got another one. Pinch clips all the way on the lower edge now this front edge got the little tooth so tell you the truth it looks like all this was glued that looks like glue so we're going to try to glue that we'll leave that tucked up underneath there so the uh window pinch weld will help hold that and hide it so i'm not sure what to do about the front or the back but it looks like some of the Stuff. We'll just repeat that. All it is is 
hooked up in there and trimmed off just right up on the edge so we just duplicate that that's the factory so we're just gonna duplicate that let it overhang hang up in there and I don't know if that was glued or just got sticky but we'll get that off here's a picture of what the front one looks like it was just tucked over that edge and again I have painted that uh, it's missing a few spots but I'm not going to worry about it I got in here and buffed it all up the, the brown you're seeing is a metallic brown paint I had extra I just wanted to use it to paint up in here I did this a couple years ago so we just gonna cover it up and go for it okay looks like I'm coming up with two one and two the brown ones are the long ones same with that set I sorted them out this one has some weird color ones a blue one and two green ones which is similar to this set and then we have the old gross set which could actually go to a Camaro or a Mustang and may not even go to this car so I better not throw I said I was gonna throw those away but I don't know what those belong to so we're gonna go with the nicest set on these which is these five and that's how many holes there are so I'm going to try to sort out which ones go where and in what hole. The weird thing is, they give you three holes for different adjustments. So, I'm going to test fit them first. Then we'll slide them in to the canvas, bring it in here and try to hook them all up. And then we'll start uh, wrapping the outer sides. The outside edge is going to be the easiest because they're all clipped. And we can just put that back together pretty quick. After test fitting these, two greens that are the same, a blue, a tan, and a no color. So you can see that holding these, that green, the two green ones are off, but it's definitely the long one, the next one, and the next one, and then these two are actually, these two are actually the same length, I just can't hold them together. So it looks like it's just two green, the blue, the tan. And the no color so that's what I got for that one and that's what seemed to fit in that order all right I went to the junkyard I got trunk mats from Nissan Maximas and Altimas and I like this because it's lighter it has carpeted on one side and I think that's gonna stick up there pretty good now I like this one but it's too heavy because it's more of like a plastic mat so that on the ceiling would be really heavy so I got two 26 by 24 sections for the front section and then that leaves 12 by 31s for this back section so basically I'm doing the 24 by 26 in this front section to tuck up underneath here and overlap I'm going to screw them in with uh, some little sheet metal screws right there to tack that tack it up underneath there maybe if I can but if not I'm just gonna take some sheet metal screws now these bars are gonna I'm gonna glue it up in here and the bars are gonna hold it up and the headliner and the back section is what's 31 inches this way 48 that way so I'm gonna do 12 inch strips four 12 inch strips and two 24s in the front and I'm going to glue that up in there to give some uh, sound deadening for the roof and the heat. And then the problem was these are so slippery on that metal, they just fall out without the uh, headliner to stick to. Something to give it something to support it. All right, I noticed if I take a razor blade, this carpet's pretty stiff. I can cut it. The top section, but this you can't really cut with the razor blade. So once I cut the top, then I come through and cut that with the uh, scissors. All right, I'm cutting these pieces and I'm putting the contact cement up there. And once that stuff is stuck, you can't move it around. So I'm trying to put that in there, but it, I didn't slide it to the right quite a bit as I wanted to to have it up underneath there. So that kind of sucks, but it's up under underneath these it's up underneath the front 
and not quite that way like I wanted it. So I'm going to have to trim this. I'm going to test fit this side. Make sure it fits before I spray or put the liquid glue on there. Well, I'm using the bows to kind of hold that up in there. I use the sticky glue. I'm going to get some self-tapping screws and screw this in here in the center so that won't be flopping down. Two screws in each section. And again, I'm just glued all that in there. This one was kind of a little bit off size. But hopefully, once we put the... Uh, Man, I just don't know what holds that in position. The other ones have actual clips. The other cars, the videos. But this just kind of sits in the middle. You wire the first one. I may wire them all just to give it some structure. So we'll see. Uh, basically, I could wire it when I do each one. I don't know if I can wire them, but... The first the back one I know gets wired because that's that hole that it's in, even though I put two because I don't have the wire to make that work. So I need the self-tapping screws and some washers. And I need to wire that first one. So I need to run these bows in there, but I'm going to try to let this glue dry for a little bit uh, till tonight to tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I'm going to come in here and try to put... <sighs> that thing in through the bows man this is just should be left to the pros and not the hose okay well, overnight that's kind of weird sticky and that was stuck in kind of rubbery I don't know if you can see that on the video staying kind of sticky but you're not gonna pull cloth apart like that and interior exterior but permanent bond on contact I do not want to use this on the headliner now I had originally bought this to use the headliner and if I had it to do over again I would just got the self adhesive the new stuff the dyno mat stuff or fat mat so what I'm going to try is weather strip adhesive I have a red and black, this one's black, this one's red in color, to glue around the edges because I don't want something so instantly stuck because you're going to have to probably make some minor adjustments and I don't want to tear the backing off of this. So I'm going to try to go with the weather strip adhesive. So if that works, then you'll know to either use it or not use it. The big tubes of it that I got on sale, even though they say $6.99. I didn't pay that for it. They were on sale. And then I got that's why I picked them both up. They're a couple bucks a piece. So hopefully that'll work. And this all looks pretty good in here. I think it's stuck pretty good. And this side that I accidentally glued is nice and dry. It's not all sticky. Oh, I didn't get my screws to put that up in there well i'm gonna go find some self-tapping screws i've decided to glue together all of this center section with the cement i have almost a half a can i was going to take some sheet metal screws and try to aim for that center part but that seems like a lot of work when i can just glue the crap out of it fold that side over and then glue that up. I think it's going to glue to itself really well. So that's the plan. And I got that sticking out the middle, cut away the carpet that was going to be covering that. So that's basically what I have some carpet and jute pad ceiling thing. And I spent 24 bucks on all this carpet. So 12 and 12. And I'm going to use that to cover that hole to put sound deadener between the trunk. Uh, that works really good, especially since that's a rubberized backing. And then the seat will go to the back of that. So it will have good sound deadener properties. It'll go on the clear down to the floor, clear up to the package tray up there. Put some sheet metal screws to hold that backing up. And that'll make good sound deadener. Little divider there. 
kind of dark in here but uh gluing all that together seems to have worked pretty well i'll put that stuff on there let it dry 10 minutes and stuck it together so it's gonna have the bows up in there as well uh one thing that this car doesn't have is air conditioning so i could see that being a problem but this is kind of what was up there just some jeep pad when you took this out and it was gross and falling out everywhere this time it has the carpet to help it hold it that ain't sticking at all what the hell Well, all this seems to be sticking pretty good except for this section. So let me go get a little bit of extra glue put on there. And I'll try to glue that section better. Now this headliner spring is supposed to clip on this, go up in that hole, and then clip on the bar. That's so you can pull it forward to get the party started. Now this clip said they were 8 inches. That's 7 and a half. And this one's 7 and a half, so that'll give me something... To pull forward on and it looks like they're about nine now i don't like this because it's not straight up and down so if i have to i'll pull this back farther if i need to because i don't know what the legit uh thing but i when i test fitted these they needed to be straight up to get snug fit so if I go to the next one, I'll move it back. Okay, now I can tell that this is holding great, but it's in the wrong position because all of these are pulling, all of these are pulling forward off center and coming off, even this one. And these bars gotta be fairly straight to hold this up there tight. So I think I'm gonna take out and make this six inches because that's about an inch forward okay I got some homemade spring clips and I got from the bar to the back of the ridge six inches so you couldn't order these they're six bucks a piece for those springs and have them in the right position and that's what I'd recommend Instead of using a piece of wire and guessing at the uh, length. But this already looks better. Up inside here where it's already kind of stretched out. So now I got this one fixed. I'm going to revisit all of these. But I think that's... Once you get that stuff stretched left to right forward to back I think that's gonna be fine hopefully that looks horrible looks better from my view but hopefully we'll get it stretched out that's another thing you don't want to do is have that pinched over like that because you're not gonna be able to pull it and adjust it I'm taking this one back out I'm kind of starting over but man that one's in there tight on the edges but not tight on the uh, center so I don't know how to resolve that maybe I could bend this in the center up more I'll give it a try okay this is the second bow and it's not vertical it's coming into the forward by almost a full inch so that means this rear one the very very first one even though that's getting tighter it's an inch off still so I need to Pull that back to be tight on the back side. I keep hitting my head on that damn ceiling. And I don't even know how you would think you'd do this with uh, the window in there. You'd just be sad, sad, sad. So, I'm on the forward adjustment there. And I'm going to move that around however to make it work. to make it more vertical. I'd probably have to move it to one of these two rear ones. And we're gonna make that five inches. Right now it's six, and I'm gonna start with some new wire because I'm about twisted that wire up and start fresh. And I'm gonna go take a break. 
Okay, this uh, distance between this back rod and this uh, forward one is now five inches. I started at I started at seven, and then I went to six, and now I'm at five inches. So I got two rods holding that, so I can start pulling forward. This is also for mine in the bottom rung on both sides. So now I want to start trying to work forward to pull that figure out which one's the right thing to get a good stretch on that. What a pain. So far I'm at gotta be like seven hours messing with this. Okay, these all look pretty good. I got a definitely enough where I can stretch it across the front. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the glue on here because I really kind of want that some cement, so I'm gonna have to stretch it and glue it. And that looks pretty good. I don't really know how I'm gonna pull it sideways but I'm going to attach the front first and then we'll start stretching the back and I think that's all we can really do get some glue on there it looks like they just kind of glued right here along this edge because what's going to tighten it down as well is the visors and the mirror we got one two three things there and all the stuff on the side is going to have the clips and pieces. And the back is going to have the same grips. So, you know, it's one of those things. Glue is probably good, but I don't even know if you need glue. This was glued on there pretty damn good. Because, yeah, I don't know how well that's going to glue or stretch. So let me just try Okay, we had six of these clips on the other side, only five on this side, and then you have one, two, three. Those also hold on that headliner. And as far as I could tell, there really wasn't any glue on the sides. So I guess you could stretch it tight and put these on there. Um, kind of wondering whether I should just put one little strip of uh, glue right along that little edge but I don't know if it's worth it I think if you just pull that around as you go and then pull that side I'm gonna do the back next and hopefully that'll tighten that up a little bit more in the middle but it's a little wrinkly but that's still looking pretty doggone good and the front is you know I put the glue and I pin clipped it so let me try to smash the glue on a little better and but it's got the alligator teeth holding it on all right the front and back alligator clipped and glued i did not glue the sides so i could stretch it again if i wanted to and basically it has these clips every other i'm missing a couple of them I'm missing one for sure that goes right here and then these clips also push up in here and hold it just like these clips so when you put this on there that's gonna have six more clips so that's gonna have 12 clips on each side and I didn't want to glue it so uh, I could come back and restretch this I could pull these clips off and restretch it again but I think once you push these up in there and stretch the the other sections and push the clips up in there it's gonna be just fine so I need to decide how much to trim this I guess take a razor blade and just trim it up in here but I don't want to lose my grip of it so I'm not gonna trim it yet I'll trim it later and I'm gonna have to glue this down uh, stretch out a little bit and glue it down and then put the cover over it but for a homemade job I think that's looking pretty damn good nobody's gonna get in here and go oh that looks like shit they're gonna go oh you got a new headliner in it look how good it looks this 
We'll stretch out too once we get the other clips. This is missing a clip. That's where the uh, little button goes, the, the coat hanger thing. So we're going to have to figure out where all that stuff went and where the uh, freaking seat belt went. So I better mark that before I permanently clip that. So that's a good thing to note and we'll figure out where that is. Uh, it's getting better and better every time I do a little bit more work on it. Let's take a look at this headliner. Uh, man, that's looking really good. Put the mirror on and the light on. Stretch the sides a little better. Looks good. Pretty good in the back there. It's not perfect, but nobody's going to get in and care. They're going to see that new headliner and go, woo! Uh, sun visors. I got to sort them out. I know I got some. Okay. Uh, got the mirror on there. Got the middle light that's got some paint on it from uh, that gold and black extra that I had. No sail pans that can be pulled tighter. Uh, those clips are just pushed in on the sides. It's glued in the front and has this trim under it. Those are the alligator clips and the window trim kind of covers that in the front. I have two different style clips. They no longer sold these plain clips. They had these clips that had that alligator tooth for the chargers. So basically I took the, my grinder and held it with a pair of vice grips and grinded the little alligator tooth off of it because I didn't want it to be cut and tear into the liner. So I bought a whole bunch of them, got some extras. Uh, it could be pulled maybe a little tighter, but when you put that other thing in there, nope, it's not going to get any tighter than what it looks now. So if any stretching got to be done right now, but see how good that looks. And that looks, I don't believe you're going to get it any better. I got some puckering there. I could pull that tighter there in the center. Maybe put some more clips because I got plenty of them. Right there, it's puckering in the center. So those are all puckering. Need to retighten those, but that was kind of my plan. If you could get them all to look like that, it'd be great. The back is kind of not good, but this is supposed to be covered with the sail pans. But I wasn't going to do that. I'd just stretch these maybe a little tighter. Stretch it and then put the package tray. i got to get a package tray. So, the back looks pretty good except for the alligator teeth. So you can see those alligator teeth before when I was in here. Kind of like everything when you first look at them, you don't see them. But that's why they have that little plastic thing that just tucks up underneath. Tucks up underneath that. I guess I don't know I don't know what holds that covers that but I'll try to figure that out later so I need to finish the door panels working on that the uppers paint those I meant to do that this weekend it just didn't work out but you know that's looking pretty good anybody that gets in there see that they, they wouldn't think anything about that I need to be stretched a little bit better I don't know if that's going to get any better. This side's good. That side got some puckering. Just wanted to review how it really turned out. Even not being finished, it's pretty close. 